Hi, it's Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead, where today we're going to be making Mexican chicken. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please click the button down below. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and turn on the oven to 350 degrees, and we will be using a Dutch oven today. So we'll be over here on the stove right now. Let's go. We're going to be taking about three to three and a half pounds of chicken and I'm cutting it up. Um, I'm cutting it into like a little bit, as you can see, smaller pieces there. Again, it's whatever you would like. Um, I've got my Dutch oven on the uh, burner and we're going to turn on the heat to medium heat. Um, we are going to go ahead and cut up our chicken and then we are going to go ahead and dip it into half a cup of flour. And then we will be putting it in to our Dutch oven pan here and we will cook it until it is nicely brown. About 15 to 20 minutes. I forgot to tell you, I put in three tablespoons of olive oil. Uh, you don't have to use olive oil, but you do need to have some kind of uh, vegetable oil. Um, I'm just going ahead and make sure you're turning your chicken. You know, you don't have to turn it all the time, but just occasionally, and just cook it until it's, it's brown. Um, I added a little bit more oil because it was sticking. I think most of my oil had evaporated, so use your judgment about how much uh, extra oil you want to add to your chicken. I have taken off the uh, chicken in the Dutch oven off the stove. I have to actually put the chicken, I put it on a plate in order to drain the fat from the Dutch oven. And then I went ahead and put the chicken back in to the pan here. So I put in two and a half cups of chicken broth. I am using homemade. Um, I'm gonna be putting in two teaspoons of chili powder. Now, if you think that is too uh, spicy for you, you're welcome to go ahead and cut back to one and a half. Uh, teaspoons. I'm going to be putting in half a teaspoon of salt, uh, an eighth teaspoon of black pepper, and then a dash of uh, cayenne pepper. I'm using this one right here. And then we're going to go ahead and put in a clove of garlic and one medium onion. Uh, the onion and the garlic, they need to be cut up until fine. Uh, next, we're going to add in one can or 20, 28 ounces of whole tomatoes. Now, you can use diced. That is what I'm using because these were homegrown tomatoes that I ended up canning uh, that I will be using. And we do want all the juice, so do not drain them. So I've got some right here, and I'm going to go ahead and add it to uh, our chicken in the Dutch oven. Now that I've mixed that in, now we're going to go ahead and cover the whole top of the dish with some aluminum foil I have right here. And then we're going to put it in the 350 degree oven and we are going to bake it for 30 minutes. Now that it's been 30 minutes, we're going to go ahead and add in one cup of rice. Now I'm using long regular rice. It is not instant and we're gonna go ahead and put it in the dish. And I'll mix that in. And we're also gonna be adding in one cup of corn. Now we want it undrained, so you can see the liquid there. This is homegrown corn. You can use frozen corn or you can use uh, canned corn. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir that in and then we're gonna go ahead and put the cover back on and we are going to bake it again 30 to 40 minutes until the chicken juices are clear. The Mexican chicken is all done. I'm going to go ahead and top mine all the way over the top with some Colby Jack cheese shredded. Um, if you would like to and you don't want to put the cheese on, you don't have to. Um, again, it's up to you. Uh, you could use cheddar, Colby Jack, I mean, whatever kind of cheese you want to. I just think adding the cheese, it always had a little extra special, uh, you know, something to the dish. 
Uh, I'll go ahead and add it now and then I'll put it back in the oven and let it uh, get in there to melt about two or three minutes. The Mexican chicken is all done. You can see the cheese has melted nicely. I'm going to go ahead and let it cool and then I'll show you what it looks like. This ends up serving six people. I paired it nicely with some green beans there. Well, thank you for watching. This was Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead. I hope you have a good day.